Today I want to talk about the new laser projector from JVC. I want to discuss on the necessary settings that you have to do as soon as you install your projector. Before we start, click like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Put your comments down below and don't forget to click the notification button so the next time I upload a video, you won't miss the video. So the first thing you need to do is to open the menu and from the top left there, you choose the content type to be uh, automatic. Make sure the content type is automatic. So whether it's SDR, HDR10+, HDR10, or HLG, it will automatically shift from one content type to the next. Picture mode, based on my calculation, based on my measurement, natural is actually the more the accurate one compared to the rest. Under more setting, just use the uh, laser display, I mean the, the laser power to, in this particular case, just low. I don't need, I don't need it to be, um, I don't need it to be at the maximum. And I always kill off the dynamic control. I just switch off with the most open aperture. Color profile, always set it to auto. So whether it's BT709, which is NTSC HD, uh, or BT2020, or if you happen to have DCI uh, video, everything will be automatically chosen. Set the color temperature to 6500 Kelvin, or if you find it to be too dark or too red, you can use a 7500 Kelvin because the actual calibrated will be in between those two figures. I personally would choose the 7500 Kelvin uh, just because it tracks the red, green, blue colors more accurately all across from zero IRE to 100 IRE. Gamma, choose 2.4, not 2.2, because the new standard is 2.4. Now, for the E-Shift, turn off E-Shift, and then you do the lens focusing. And after you're done with the focusing, you can go back here and turn back the 8K E-Shift back on. As for motion control, I always turn on low latency and set the motion enhance to low. Don't put it more than low because then it will look kind of weird when you're watching the screen. Then you go to the third menu and go down to screen setting. Under screen setting, you turn on screen adjust and then the screen number, you can find it on JVC's website. In this case is screen number 71. The diagonal is 140. So I'm gonna put 140 here. With a screen gain of 1.0. So I just leave it as is. Uh, at home, for example, my screen gain is 1.3. So if that's the case, then you go to 1.3. But again, for this particular case, it's 1.0, so I leave it as is. Now, the HDR10 settings. From there, you go to picture mode and make sure frame adapt HDR is turned on because that's what you want. That's what you pay the JVC projectors for. Or obviously, if you have a Panasonic UV9000, you choose the Pana PQ. But I, my recommendation is still just to use frame adapt HDR. Bring it down here for the HDR processing to not scene by scene but frame by frame. 
turn on the theater optimizer. And you see this is processing, calculating the, the brightness level and everything like that for this particular screen. Takes a while for the first time. The next time you access this, it's going to be much faster. The HDR level, there are five different versions of HDR level. The lower it is, the dimmer it looks, the higher it is, the brighter it looks. I personally like to choose zero or number one, but since this client prefer a brighter picture, I choose number one. AKE shift, you can turn it on or off. That's really up to you. And under motion control, same thing. You want the clear motion drive to be turned off and motion enhanced to be low. And that's it. That's all you need to do for the setup. The only thing to make this better is by doing the auto cal or doing a professional calibration. But outside of that, enjoy. If you find this video to be informative, click like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Put your comments down below. You can start a discussion there. And click the notification button so the next time I upload a video, you'll be notified. Thank you very much for watching and goodbye. La 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 la